Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Adam and Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. I almost didn't make a video this week because initially I did not see anything new. This is a work weekend, so don't have as much time, but I did continue to look and I found a few things. So I will make this a bit quick. For starters, there is nothing new from the Big Two, nothing new from Metal Earth or Peace Cool. I even checked MU's website, though their website has not been as reliable lately. I didn't see anything there. But, looking around on AliExpress, there were a few things on a couple of stores that caught my attention. First of all, on Metalhead, actually it was more than one thing, but I'm going to talk about the one. It's a set of models. I'm going to read you the title. This is going to be fun. Metalhead Anime One Piece Training Master DIY Magnetic Refrigerator Magnet Assemble Jigsaw Model Puzzles. We've seen something like this before. I talked about the similar sort of model, like a layered model before. If you look through, if you go to the link down below, I've got a link to this, this listing on AliExpress on the Metalhead store. I don't know if it's actually Metalhead product because Metalhead likes to put their name on everything. I don't know who makes it but it's similar to a model I talked before where it's like layered sheets. If you look at through the pictures you'll see side angles where there's several different layers. Whether or not they're actually magnetic and how big they are um, well whether or not they're magnetic I can't be sure how big they are that information I did not see that listed I don't think it was listed last time either previously there were let me find it here I made notes there was a Detective Kona, a couple of Detective Kona models, as well as some Gundam looking one thrown in there as a, a third selection. This set has a lot of anime stuff, plus one, I think, Disney thing. I got one piece, I seen Dr. Stone, one was just Dragon, I think it's how, from How I Trained My Dragon, or How to Train a Dragon. There's Hunter x Hunter, I've seen like one episode of that. Um, and there's several that I just do not recognize. I've seen a lot of One Piece by now. There's a lot out there. I still have a lot to see. But it's just basically framed pictures. There's several different layers. It appears that the different layers have different pieces of the picture. Kind of neat. If you're an anime fan, that would be kind of neat. Don't know if it's actually magnetic. But go check out the listing for yourself. There's a link to it down below. To Metalhead's the only place I've seen it. So, yeah, if you're curious, check that out. Also on Metalhead store, and all, I saw the same too on Crazy Head store, so I use Crazy Head Toy Store for a reference on this. We have a couple of Picture Kingdom models, and the links down below are to the Crazy Toy site, but if you want to check them out on Metalhead, follow the other link and just search uh, what's new, and you'll find them. But there's a Picture Kingdom bicycle repair shop, and a Picture Kingdom video store. Basically, another series of shops. And a different style. Uh, at least this style doesn't seem to be as classic as a lot of the previous styles. I don't know for sure, but I would say this is more of 80s to maybe 90s style. I don't know. I'm guessing here I did not translate any of the Japanese because I'm short on time. So I'm trying to just get the information out there, just the basic information. But Picture Kingdom Bicycle Repair Shop basically it looks like a couple of large front bicycle wheels in a shop. PJ232 is the model number, listed as being stainless iron or stainless steel, I'm assuming. Finish size of 6.6 .6 by 7.5 by 7.9 centimeters, or 2.6 by 3 by 3.1 inches. Four sheets, 93 pieces, three-star difficulty, and list price is $23.98 US dollars. And three-star, what does it say three-star out of 10? So really not a very difficult model at all. I mean, only 93 pieces. It, it looks like it's a fairly simplistic model. It's not super simple, but not too hard to do. And then we have the Picture Kingdom Video Store. It is PJ235, stainless iron or stainless steel. Finished model size of 6.6 .6 by 8.6 .6 by 8.4 centimeters. Translated to 2.6 by 3.4 by 3.3 inches. This one's four sheets. 80 pieces with a two-star difficulty, also $23.98. Now, there was another listing for the video store, but, or excuse me, another listing for the, I think, bicycle repair shop, but it had the video store picture and information in it. Some sort of mistake there, I'm guessing, so we're not going to talk about that. However, if you look through 
either of the two models that they have listed, and even the mistakenly doubly listed one with the wrong pictures, you'll see that it appears to be a set of four for this set. Only two are currently showing up right now, so the other two may be soon to come. But in the bigger picture, it shows these two as well as a convenience store and a childhood shop, or I'm guessing just a toy store. Pretty neat looking. You know, if you're into having those shop sets and want to do something a little bit simpler, grab these. Looks to be two more coming out in the future. You know, either grab both of these and wait, or wait till all four. Maybe you can get a deal. I don't know. Kind of neat. Wanted to share it. Some new models from Picture Kingdom following the whole shop series, but a different style this time. And that's what I found this week. I am going to cut it short and leave it at that. Links in the description down below. Thank you everyone for continuing to watch this channel, for commenting, for encouragement, for correcting my mistakes, for any comments at all. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, there really wasn't too much to talk about on comments from last week's video. Maybe a little bit, but I'm going to save it for next week's video. Just because, again, uh, short to this week, I'm working I uh, need to get some sleep, and uh, next week I'm on vacation, so maybe get some more stuff done. Here's to hoping. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel, and as always, keep on keeping on.